Today we're looking at Ferrocene. We're using the LT version 2023, and we're just going to run through uh, some of the measuring options that we have on a completely registered project. Uh, here we've got a uh, road. As you can see, we're going to get down closer and look at just how easy it is to look at this data. Keep our center point in the middle here. As you can see, sphere targets were used to uh, register the project. You can see them lit up depending on where we are. We want to do any measuring off of the fully loaded point cloud like this. Let's just try the uh, measuring the road. You just use this tool up here, measuring points, and we can just grab, we're going to left click there, move our cursor over, and then left click again. We'll double click there, and it will stop the measurement. Otherwise, we'll just drag it to a third point and a fourth point. So we can look at that. We've got our distance in meters. Now, come over to the left side. We can click on the measurement and we can name the measurement. We can give our horizontal, vertical. If this was something that was in the air, it would give us a vertical, horizontal, overall. Um, so there's a lot of different options here. Now, let's say you want to uh, work on a property line here. So what we'll do is we'll just run along this fence line over here. And we can do the same thing with our measuring points. And we can get our distance. We can change our units to feet, meters, however we'd like to do it. can change the way we look at the data here simply going from the bottom we want to there we go we pan we can use our left mouse key to just move this back and forth we can set a rotation point if we want and still rotate it. Go back down to pan. We can drag that back and forth. Depending on what type of measuring you want to do in 3D, you do need to come down here to this uh, option here and uh, manipulate some of those tools so that you can drag yourself around to the right spot. Just a matter of playing around with this a little bit. But as you can see, it is very easy if you're simply wanting to measure a straight line like these power lines. You can just take your cursor, your measuring points, click on one of the poles, drag that over to the other pole and hit the escape button now you've got you've taken the uh the measuring points option off now if you double click on the measuring point here you can make sure that you are actually grabbed onto the, the post just double click on that spot and it takes us right there. And now we know that we have actually grabbed the right spot. Again, we'll go into that measuring point on the left on the tree here. Now, this is where we can get the horizontal, the vertical. And we can call this.
Here's the great thing about this. As we can see we've got the vertical. We're lower on the spot of the post. We're measuring to a higher point. So we've got our vertical. We've got our overall length and we've got our horizontal measurement. That's our 3D. Now we can go in here, we're on the road, we can go into a single scan, open it up. Here's what's called our quick view. And this is a bubble view from the camera that is on the FerroFocus scanner. Again, easy to manipulate. We're just pressing down on the left uh, mouse button and we can do a lot of measuring from here as well. we'll. Just use the roller on the mouse, go back up here to our points measuring, click on the top of the pole and the bottom, double click, escape. All right, now here's a fun thing that is uh, really easy to do. Whenever you're using 2D or even 3D, you want to, again, make sure that you have grabbed a hold of where you want to grab, because this is actually grabbing the 3D points. You're just looking at it in a 2D photograph. So in order to definitely see what you grab, you go up here to the selection, and you can come down here to the rectangle, doesn't really matter, but using the left mouse key, just drag it so that you've got a nice rectangle, right click, go to view and 3D. It's going to show you exactly where you have grabbed. Now, use this rotation point, set it right there, wherever you want. You can see that you have grabbed the pole. And this is going to come in handy if you are, you know, inside of a building. Maybe you grabbed the I-beam that you wanted to, or maybe you grabbed uh, you know, a, a point behind the I-beam on the ceiling. Uh, you want to make sure that you've grabbed the right spot when you are uh, doing your measurements in scene. Just a, It's just an easy, quick thing that you can do. Selection, rectangle, drag it across, right-click inside of that, go to 3D, and let that populate it for you. Get nice and close. Again, bottom. The select your rotation point, drop that with your left mouse key, and then just hold your mouse key on your left and rotate that by moving your moving the mouse. Lots of great stuff tool-wise in scene. Uh, a lot of people think they need to go into a, a another uh, software package to do a lot of these things. It's all right here, and it's really really easy. Thanks and good luck. If there's anything that you guys can see uh, software-wise, hardware-wise with scanners, LIDAR units that you've got questions on, feel free to email us at info at .com. Let us know. Maybe we'll put a, a tutorial video together to try to help out. Again, we are a rental center for the Ferro Focus laser scanners. We've also got drone LIDAR units and Creaform handy scans.